frame and um how to apply them and how to make a very good use of them if you are new here you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to this channel and i'm glad to have you all here please subscribe down below and use the notification bell if you've not um turned it on so you'll be the first to get my videos each time i upload ignore my eyebrow in case your eyes is going there it's not a topic for today we are going to be having that conversation but certainly not on this video okay so for my sunscreen those that want to know the sunscreen i use i don't have a particular sunscreen i use i use a whole lot of sunscreen and i have my reasons which i'm sure at the end of this video you will understand the reason why i use a lot of sunscreen i use different types so these are the sunscreen i'm using i still have some two that i didn't include on this video because they are similar brands but um they do different um job so i i they are a bit far away so it's not included on this video i don't want us to do um I don't want this video to be too um, lengthy so for that reason we'll just um, make do with this one because they are the ones I use as often as possible so for now um, we are just this video is gonna be in two category like we're gonna have the theoretical part of it and we have the practical part of the um, maybe demonstrate how I use the sunscreen or how they appear on the skin so you understand um, my point. I'm looking down just now. I'm trying to pick one or two points from my jottings um, here. In talking about sunscreen, I'll just um, talk about them in two categories, which would be the uh, mineral sunscreen and the chemical sunscreen. So the the, the mineral sunscreen are the ones um, most of us know about. Maybe um, you might have maybe come across or even used it. Most of us, um, I think that's the first um, sunscreen we used um that made us got discouraged about sunscreen why do i say that um the mineral sunscreen are those ones they have um, um white cast on the face they work based on the top layer of our skin they don't um really um absorb into the skin they they are mostly on top of the skin and again this sunscreen actually um are easy to wash off uh, they are easy to wipe out of the face so mineral sunscreen are very very visible because of their appearance the benefit of the mineral sunscreen is that it can actually protect you almost immediately yes almost immediately why because it's on the top layer of your skin it doesn't need time to sink into the skin the white cast you are seeing on the skin that is making you not to like it that is what is actually protecting your skin from the sun Yes, that is the block. It's blocking, it's creating a barrier between um, your skin and the sun or the UVA, UVB, whatever be, whatever rays. Um, it protects your skin from any rays at all. Um, it doesn't really irritate the skin because it doesn't do much in going into your pores. Yes, it's it's very, very easy to use and it's um, most of them are actually skin friendly because of the ingredients and all of that because they are mostly top coated. So talking about the chemical sunscreen those chemical sunscreen are those ones that when you apply they sink into the skin most of them sink into the skin some of them just go in without actually leaving any cast on your skin it's really sinking to the skin and that one really goes with brown skin girls the chemical sunscreen is actually what i'm really really into i like it because it's something you can actually apply on your face when you are going out and you don't want to wear um um, makeup you don't want to rub powder you don't want to put any form of um, foundation on your face it's easy to use and it's really friendly to to behold <laughs> let me use that word <laughs> oh god because that other one leaving white cast somebody can just bump into you and be like oh my god what's happening here so i remember one day i was um, wearing my sunscreen because most of the time i used um, um the the mineral sunscreen when i'm home so i was on a video call like i forgot i was wearing it on my face i just picked the call and the next thing i hear was oh my god what's that what's happening to your face i'm like oh sorry i i practically forgot that i was wearing that sunscreen and i know that each time i'm wearing this sunscreen i don't like appearing to anybody that is not really used to my kind of skin routine like that knows me where so, I, so at that point i just felt shy i don't know i felt shy because um it's, it 
difficult telling people that are not really into skincare, it's learning to them, oh, it's sunscreen, uh, it's this, that, that, you understand, it, it, it just made me look funny. I don't know. So, for chemical sunscreen, you need to plan for it, like you need to plan yourself on the application. Why? Because it doesn't absorb immediately. Most of the time, it takes up to 15 to 20 minutes to actually absorb into your skin. You don't just carry a chemical sunscreen and apply on your face while it's still oily. Some 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 looks very oily, like you just carry yourself and start going out. It's not going to protect your skin. It has not gone inside to create a barrier between your skin and the sun. So you actually need to apply it um, for up to 50, at least 10 minutes, 10 to 15, 10 minutes is fine. And allow it to sink into your skin before you just go out. A little goes a long way, like it can actually cover well. You don't need to put a lot, unlike um the mineral sunscreen, you need to like layer it for that and white cast to actually show like you will know every part that is actually not covered when you are using the mineral sunscreen. For chemical sunscreen, you don't need to patch a whole lot into your skin. A little can actually go a long way in covering um, most part of your face. So that is that for the um, theoretical part of this video. I don't want this video to be too lengthy because sunscreen is a very broad topic that if we really want to discuss, we're going to take a lot of time. I don't want us to go into because under the mineral, under the chemical, they have some breakage and all of that. So I don't want us to go deep into that. Just try to understand the one that works best with your skin it took me a long while so now that brings us to why i have a whole lot of sunscreen it took me a while to actually find the sunscreen that works best with my skin so coming back to the practical part of this video i'll have to remove my glasses and um hope you understand so i would just try the application so i'll be starting with this one here this is the ultra share by um, um neutrogena this is by neutrogena you might have seen this also yeah this 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 one is this is this one is part of the mineral sunscreen that i just explained so this one let's try to apply so normally applying sunscreen the rules is that you're supposed to put it on the five your five fingers yes but for the sake of this video i'm just going to be doing like half parts of my face because i have a lot to apply on the face so we're just going to be doing them um in bashes so you understand so i'll just do just two fingers for just the coverage of here to this place so this is it we'll do like this we'll do like this so this is it this two here Just two fingers I'm applying so so this is how it looks this is it so now this one is by Sontira and um, this happened to be one of my best sunscreen like I love this sunscreen so much and there's something about this brand they create for sensitive skin and um, normal skin so this sensitive skin I use it for my face that's what I'm um, I remember saying I have um, other sunscreen somewhere i have the same brand but for normal skin that can be applied on the neck to the body like to the to your feet so i don't use that on my face because i don't know how i'm going to react to it so i'm currently using the sensitive skin so that's one thing i lo love about this um sun sunscreen i like um for the fact that they considered um we that have the sensitive skin um in their production so i really like it so how is it it has a cover like this so this is how it is so this can actually go for almost all of the face let me put it So, 
this is this one is by um, um, Neutrogena. Why this is um, by Sonsera um, um, for sensitive skin. So now let's see this. This one is already this side. If you look this side very well, this is already going off. Yeah, sink very well. Like it's very fast in sinking. So our next one will be this. Next one we'll be trying with this um, banana boat here. Banana boat. So I don't know if you know this brand. So, let me just put it so you understand what I mean. If like this much maybe i feel um the last time i used it and i entered the sun my face was already looking um started looking somewhat reddish and all of that so maybe that's why i'm not sure i like basically this one is really good maybe when you are sporting like maybe you you are the type that exercise a lot and maybe on the process you still need to use your sunscreen or maybe you're always on the run you need something you can apply on your body, your hands, your legs, maybe it's exposed. This is a very good one. This is a very, very good one. This brand is a very good one. But for me, I don't think I like it on my face. Because the last time I tried using it on my face, I was looking so, so greasy. Like my face was looking very, very greasy. And um, when I entered the sun, at some point it was looking like my face was um, getting red. I don't know i think maybe because my skin is sensitive maybe it's not just for me maybe it's not for my face kind of um um sunscreen so it didn't really go well with my face so i would say if you are going for this you should be sure it's something you want to um your skin is not that sensitive maybe you have a normal skin or um, um normal to maybe combination skin maybe you'll be able to go with this or dry skin so you you decide on the one that works best with your skin don't use my sunscreen around my eye area i use it just like this covered to this place like as you mean i want to use more of this i'll just cover up to this place now i don't put them on my eyes so but if you want to know what i use how i use my sunscreen around my eye area or what i use on my eye area to protect it from the sun please kindly let me know on the comment down below i'll be making another video because i don't want this to be too lengthy so please subscribe and like this video if you enjoy what you've seen and what we do here thank you so much and remain blessed bye bye <laughs>